Romantical. Oh my gosh, this is so romantic. Ah! Burlwood, what is that? I had this upside down. Whoopsies. Whoopsie, I had a whoopsie. <laughs> Are you... Are you still there? Is everybody okay? Everybody all right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is it. Pizzazz, if you will. Oh my gosh, that's so bomb. Can I get a thumbnail? My name is Andrea, if you're new here and if you are, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. And to my OG subscribers, thanks for tuning back in and welcome back to another video. Y'all, I feel like we're on a date. It is nighttime, I normally film during the day, but it was overcast all day and I wasn't gonna film, but then I was like, no, I need to film because my people need to know what's in home goods. So here we are. And I must say, I'm digging it. I like it. So today is gonna be another haul per use, and I just want to let you guys know that I haven't been ignoring your requests to see the pieces styled. I just don't want to give you a BS video, if that makes sense. I want it to be right, some of the stuff still has to be painted, and I might do that like vlog style, so you kind of see where it was and where it is now, or where it will be after I get it done, so yeah. Off that, today is gonna be all about, today, <laughs> it's nighttime. So this video is gonna be all about wood. And not just any kind of wood, I'm talking primitive, I'm talking sculptural, just the good kind of wood, okay? I wanna start by talking about burl wood. Burl wood? What is that? It has been flooding the design world as of late and I'm just so into it now. I really didn't know what burl wood was per se. I knew what it looks like, but I wasn't sure what it was like what is considered burl wood. So I went on Athena Calderon's newsletter slash her blog and she talked about how it is Actually, let me just read what it says on her blog post. In said post, it reads, the unique marble-like appearance, of course, marble-like, that's why I like it so much, of the burl wood is a result of small knots from dormant buds, fungi, viruses, insects, or injuries that put stress on a tree. That does not sound pretty at all, but it is. And that actually sounds kind of gross. But I guess one day somebody was about to cut this piece off the tree, this diseased part of the tree and throw it away, but they were like, hmm, this is actually kind of dope. And now we are using it in our homes, in our businesses, places we need a little funky piece, something with a little pizzazz, if you will. And I was able to snag some pieces. Now brace yourself, cause you're gonna die. Are you dying? Are you? Are you still there? Is everybody okay? Everybody all right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is it. I saw this in Home Goods, and girl, I had to get it. I actually got two. So this is the first one. It's a little bit warmer in tone. As you can see, it definitely fits the description in the blog post I just read you. It's not as yellow as it looks on camera. I think my light is kind of messing it up, but I will show on the side what it looks like during the day. It is so good. It does look like it's <laughs> been a little diseased and um, a little eaten up a little bit, like I imagine maybe termites or something was eating on this, but it's such an amazing piece. It has the marbled like effect, like the article says, and y'all, I'm just so obsessed. Let me show you the other one. Oh. Okay, so like I said, I got two. This is the other one. And this one is more of a, you know, like a cooler tone, but it has some of the warmer tones here on the bottom. Um, I don't want to drop them, so I'm going to, which one do I want to talk about? I'm going to talk about this one because this has more of the disease. Yeah. So onto this one, this has a lot more distressing in it, a lot more holes, a lot more of that detail. And like I said, it's it has some little warmer 
places in it like right here and right here and I just thought this was so good it felt so retro and you guys know I love mixing old and new so it's gonna fit perfectly in my space I'm thinking about putting one of them here in my bedroom to kind of give that element in here and put the other one in my dryer layer but y'all I just I can't get over I actually <laughs> I had this upside down whoopsies oopsie I had a whoopsie <laughs> but um <laughs> It has a solid base right here and an opening right here. So I wanna find a really good, like substantial branch to put in this. Like I told you, this style has been taking the design world by storm. CB2 has some pieces that are burl wood. RH just came out with some pieces with their RH contemporary line. And I just feel like this is gonna be timeless and a classic piece. Even if you're a minimalist and you like all white, these would be so good to warm up your space. And I feel like it'll fit any space, honestly. Like no matter the style, I feel like you can put this in there and kind of mix it in and have it cohesive with your other decor. These were $39.99 a piece and I just thought that was way better than having to pay for like a nightstand or a pedestal because even the pedestal at CB2 I think it's like 300 or 400 dollars yeah so this was way better way more reasonable and I'm just so excited that I found them Ooh, those things dirty Ooh, it's a little toasty I also found another little small burlwood piece it is this container I found this in the kitchen Oh my gosh, the lighting looks good on me, but horrible on the item. So I'll put a video on the side of what this looks like truly, like this true color, but you can see the little burl wood detail. And I'm thinking I wanna put like a tea light candle in here, but I also am thinking, is this flammable? Because <laughs> I don't want to light a candle on my nightstand and wake up and my hair's on fire. Like, that would not be good. So even if I can't put a candle in here, I can still maybe put some matches in here or just use this as a book topper. Just sit it on top of some books for a little more dimension, a little more warmth. And yeah, this was only $3.99. So I just snagged it up, why not? And I just feel like I can put this in the same room as the basis, not necessarily right next to it, but maybe I'll have the vase on a bookcase or a bookshelf and then I can have this like on a table just to kind of tie in the whole design element so yeah got him this next piece is one of my favorites because I saw it it saw me and it was fate it's primitive artisanal refined rustic just dope I have been pinning pieces like this all over my Pinterest and I had an image saved and I knew when I saw this piece that I needed it. So here he is and I just love him. He was $24.99. Um, I'm thinking that he's supposed to be a candle holder because it was in the candle section and it has like this little piece right here. And I think it'll be dope to put like a black spherical candle right here if I wanted to. But honestly, I'm probably just gonna use it as a sculpture and sit it this way on a bookcase. But I just love how how it's curved down here and linear up here so you get the best of both worlds in the silhouette and the little pass-throughs like the little pieces here and here I just thought that was so cute like I said I have been pinning pieces like this all over my Pinterest and I just knew when I saw it I had to get it because you don't come across pieces like this very often especially in home goods and especially at that price so it was such a good deal and it's just so so good y'all I love it love it so 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 much the character of this is just like doesn't he look like a little man He's so so cute I love him so much I don't come across wooden pieces that don't feel farmhouse so this is perfect and I'm so glad to have him last but not least you guys know I love a good mirror I have three in my bedroom hello so when I saw this I just had to have it I'm gonna try to show you this without blinding you oh cool look at that that's cute wait can you see me oh my gosh that's so bomb can I get a thumbnail 
That's cute. Anyways, I found him at Home Goods in the bathroom section. He was only $19.99. And I love the idea of putting like small mirrors on a bookcase or on some shelving. I just think that is so chic and so different. So I had to get them. I can also use this on a vanity because it has a little stand here in the back. So it kind of sits like a picture frame. So I just thought this was really dope. Something really cute and simple to add some visual interest to whatever I'm trying to decorate. And like I said, it was only $20. It's mostly this true brown walnut color, but it also has some of those warmer tones too. And you guys know I love mixing wood, so this was perfect and yeah. Okay guys, that is it for me today. Thank you so much for tuning in and spending some time with me. I keep saying today, it's nighttime. I hope you're able to find some of these pieces in your home goods. Like always, I will leave the style numbers down below in the description box. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Hit that subscribe button, that notification bell if you haven't. Take care of yourselves, those around you, and your mental health. And I will see you guys in my next video. But until then, peace out.